pull out your horizontal projectile summative preview. We're going to guide our way through it. Problem one, suppose you roll a basketball at 1.5 meters per second across the roof of a flat building. It leaves the edge and strikes the ground three seconds later. Just like that. We want to find the vertical distance. We want to find the height of the building. Start by listing out your givens. We know the initial vertical velocity is zero, the acceleration vertically is 9.8, and the acceleration horizontally is zero. This is because vertically it's falling due to gravity, horizontally it's moving at a constant velocity. We also were told that the initial horizontal velocity is 1.5. That's how fast it was, it was moving when it left the building. It landed three seconds later. That's horizontal and vertical time. In this case, we're looking for vertical information, so we use only the vertical column. Final velocity is not included, so there's our formula. Substitute in. There's our vertical acceleration, vertical time, vertical initial velocity, vertical time. Get rid of that zero. Zero times three is just zero. Remember to square that three, multiply, and there's my answer, 44.1 meters. I used my vertical information to find another vertical unknown. Now, I want to find the horizontal distance that it traveled, or how far it ended up from the base of the building. Final velocity is not included. I'm using horizontal information to find a horizontal distance. There's my horizontal acceleration, my horizontal time, my horizontal initial velocity, my horizontal time again. That zero makes everything at the front half of the equation go away. 1 half times 0 times 3 squared is just 0. 1.5 times 3 gives me my final answer. I used my horizontal information to find a horizontal distance. Problem 2. A criminal is escaping across a rooftop and runs off the roof horizontally, landing on the roof of the next building. The criminal runs at a velocity of 5 meters per second, and the roof of the adjacent building is 3 meters below the jumping off point. How far horizontally are the two buildings? Or how far did the burglar jump? So we start by listing out our givens. We know three givens right out of the gate. We're also told his horizontal velocity. That's how fast he was running horizontally. And this is his vertical distance. This is how far he fell from the top building to the bottom building. We need to find the time first. So I plug in what I know, solve for what I don't. Luckily, that latter half of that formula is going to go away. 0 times t goes away. Half of 9.8 is 4.9. And it's the same two problems or same two steps to solve this problem. I'm going to divide both sides by 4.9. And then I'm going to take that answer and square root it. you got to remember to do that square root every single time. My horizontal time and vertical time are the same. Now that I have my time, I have enough information to find my horizontal distance, but I need to use all my horizontal information. Final velocity is not included, so there's my formula. I use my horizontal acceleration, my horizontal time, my horizontal initial velocity, my horizontal time. The first half of that equation goes away because of the zero, so my distance, my horizontal distance, is just 5 times 0.78, or 3.9 meters. That's how far the burglar jumped horizontally. A gun is fired from 3.5 meters high, and the bullet lands 540 meters away. How fast was the bullet fired when it left the gun? So we're looking for a horizontal initial velocity. Set up your givens. We know initial velocity vertically is 0. Acceleration is 9.8. Horizontal acceleration is zero because it's moving at a constant velocity. The bullet travels horizontally 540 meters. So it's 540 meters in front of the guy who shot it. The vertical distance is 3.5 meters. That means it was fired from a height of 3.5 meters. I want to find the initial horizontal velocity. I only have two givens there, so I need to start with my vertical information. If you don't have enough in one column, Start in the other column. I'm going to solve for time. There's my formula because final velocity is not included. Substitute in what you know. Solve for what you don't. Again, it's always going to be the same two steps with this type of problem. 
because it's always going to be vertical and you've run into this problem, you're going to divide both sides by 4.9, which is half of 9.8. And then you're going to take the square root to get your final answer. So the bullet took about 8 or 0.84 seconds to hit the ground, both horizontally and vertically. So now I have enough information to find my initial velocity. I can use my basic kinematic derived formulas now. I'm going to plug in what I know. Initial velocity is what I'm solving for. So there's my horizontal distance. There's my horizontal time. And there's my horizontal acceleration. Again, always look for the zeros because 1 half times 0 is 0. 0 times 0.84 is 0. That all goes away and you're left with 540 divided by 0.84. So the bullet left the gun at about 642.86 meters per second.